I know where it's gonna land. <laughs> hey, give to Kality. Welcome to Good Mythical More. That means we're donating $1,000 to Team Trees. This is a collaborative effort from YouTubers Mr. Beast and Mark Rober to plant 20 million trees by January 1st, 2020 in partnership with the Arbor Day Foundation. One dollar equals one tree. Please join us in giving at teamtrees.org. Teamtrees.org, Beast and Rober. Beast and Rober. I always wanna uh, say Roper, but that's not his last name. You remember we used to wear Ropers that we went through that phase? We wore Ropers? Ropers, the cowboy, cowboy boot that boot. has the shoelace in it. And like the phase was literally like, 12 days. But I, I asked for those cowboy boots for Christmas and they were expensive. The reason we so did So I it, kept them for a long time. Now I think gonna, I even took them to California. We're gonna eat, so we're gonna decide whether no. or not it's worth reheating some of these items or just eating them cold. Before we do that, let me finish this story because here's what happened at Harnett Central High School back in the day in the 90s. Yeah? Um, there were some ladies, it was like a, like a group of ladies and- um, You talking about Tracy? Yeah, Tracy was one of those. She was one of them. And uh, those ladies made it be known, or let it be known, that they were into some dudes from Anger who all kind of dressed up in like the Wranglers and the cowboy boots and the they cowboy were, hats. They were boot footed. And it wasn't that unusual. I don't know what, where you grew up, but where we grew up, it wasn't that unusual for somebody to just wear like a cowboy hat and like a cowboy shirt and Wranglers and boots to, to school. You know, we're rednecks, y'all. Yeah. And. Uh, they started talking about, I like, I like him in his tight jeans. It was like, who, who was it that they liked? They liked Jeremy. Scott. And Scott. And then, and we were like, well we want to Scott be. was Tracy's brother though. What, no. Anyway, I digress. Trent, they, Trent? Scott, no. What was the guy's name, the blonde hair guy that dated her forever? That was Scott. Okay, they weren't brother and sister. I hope they weren't, because that changes a lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we were like, you know what we ought to do? We ought to get some of those. We can wear those. We can wear. We can dress like that. So we got yeah. cowboy hats, cowboy boots that had laces, which is why they call them ropers, I guess. I don't know why they call them ropers, but that ain't it. And uh, they call them ropers and the Wranglers. But I don't think we went as far as having the shirts. So we wore like, mm. like a collared shirt, like just, you know, yeah. like a button up. We wouldn't and wear we them went to school. We no, wear we them to, to the, concerts. We went to the state fair dressed yeah. like this. And we happen to run into the guys who wear these outfits to legitimately, school. and they made fun of us. Yeah, they did. And we we're like, but it was you now, know Tracy didn't say anything. We we're like, yeah, it's like yeah, this ain't us. She didn't appreciate it, but I kept them for a very long time after that. I kept that. Cow we wore those cowboy hats during a performance of the Wax Paper Dogs. What? That's right. I re I remember. I'm a little embarrassed. Let's move on. Hold on. I got. We got to finish this because okay. I remember one night in the early days of the wax paper dogs, which some it later in the you know like an eighteen month spree went from sort of like a pseudo country band to like trying to be as close to three eleven as possible. Rap rock, like too. got that got there in eighteen months. You know, if it started, if some, we were wearing white t shirts and cowboy boots and jeans, and we were matching. If something doesn't and work, singing together. You iterate, you know, iterate and innovate, you know. <sighs> This is if a it's long, broke, fix it. This is a long segue to let you know that we're gonna start wearing cowboy hats in 2020. I wish I still had those boots. Um, when it comes to pizza, let's start there. If you have pizza in your fridge from like the night or a few nights before, do I, you- I might. Do you, do you eat it cold or do you reheat it? As like, if, like what's your go-to? Um, oven. My go-to is cold. I I used to be a cold man. Because. But, and as I've gotten older. You don't have to wait. I've gotten more patient. And so now I throw it in on broil and I wait until the to the to uh, till it bubbles a little bit. And I actually think it's worth it. I don't mind Can cold I pizza. Can I say though? I do not it think it's worth it. It depends on the, it really depends on the pizza. Like it depends on the, the where you're getting the pizza from because yeah. I had like from um, tomato pie cold pizza Good pizza from great, town great, pizza, great pizza. You gotta you gotta crispify that. What was the second it, one you said? Have you been to town? Have you been to town? Hold on, town where? I think it's in Highland Park. But why? Can you? It's is it? Like, it's not that it's bad cold. It's that when you put it in the toaster oven, it is so mind blowingly delicious. Like I'm a I'm a town girl now, and I, I used to be a tomato pie girl as we've discussed, but 
it's the it's the mind blowing difference. Well, I gotta try that. Do they have at town? Is it? Is no, it, just regular old pizza. It's the same kind they have at Tomato Pie. But when it comes to delivery, Stevie, if you were to have yeah. delivery in your in your fridge, would you heat it up or just like eat you're talking Domino's? Domino's. Let's say that. I've got to say, having Domino's cold reminds you why you shouldn't be eating Domino's. No, <laughs> I, I I disagree. Oh wow! I like it because it it sets up and I it's a different it. it's a different thing. You can't expect it, it to up, be the yes, same thing. Yes, it sets up. Isn't that a problem? That's a problem for me. I, I think I, I like it as long as the crust isn't soggy. I'm on team heated up. Now, there, some people say that if you put pizza, cold pizza, in a microwave with a glass of water next to it, yeah, that it heats up without being as rubbery. Look the, that up on the internet. The problem is not the rubberiness. The problem is getting a crisp crust, though, and you're Josh never going to get that in a microwave. That is not scientific. Yeah, there's a lot of misinformation out there on the proper way to reheat a pizza, but what you Let's should do. Let's perpetuate that. First of all, you don't because a lot of people. There's been a, a big thing that went around recently where you should put a couple drops of water in a pan and then put the lid on it and heat the pizza on that. And by the time it kind of steams and loses the water, then it's going to crisp the crust on the bottom. That's an okay method for me. Crust gets too crispy. The way to do it, put it in the microwave, no water necessary because there should be enough hydration in the dough to actually kind of get some steam. And then you put that in a hot pan dry for about 15 seconds. Oh, a hot pan, you fry it. Yeah, I microwave it and then while it's microwaving, I get the pan hot and then I take it out of the microwave, put it in the pan for about 15 seconds and then that'll continue to melt the, the cheese on top just from the heat on the bottom. Well, hold on. Perfect. Does this technique apply to the stuff we ate in the episode? What, yeah. Like the tater, would the tater tots work that way? You could totally do that, yeah. Just a little flash. You get the best of both worlds. You cook it through to get it hot. You don't have to wait, and then you get a little crispy. Yeah, I don't even wash my pants too. I'll just take like a paper towel and kind of no. give it a wipe. Okay, so a re. <laughs> <laughs> I wash the pants here if that makes you feel better. Uh, Hold on. No, just a suspicious. Corn, a corn dog that's cold. Yeah. Like, why would you heat up a corn dog? Not eat it and put it in the fridge. It's like, when does that happen? I mean, listen, I'm a corn dog man. You know me. I'm the king of the corn dog castle. <laughs> I but, didn't know that. But I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I've never done. To know it. Because that's not true. I've never done a cold corn dog. Yeah, because when you heat it up, you eat it. I mean, <sighs> well, what if you get like twelve corn dogs? Why would you heat up twelve corn dogs? No, no. What if you buy the big, the big dozen pack of corn dogs, which I, which I've done? You, you think people are coming over for a party? Corn dog party. They don't show up. And then people are like, because they hear it's a corn dog uh, party. Yeah, they're like, corn dog party sounds like some sort of euphemism for a bunch of dudes are going to be there. <laughs> and so they don't, they don't show up, and you got extra corn dogs, but you're still hungry. What are you going to do? You're going to put them in the fridge. And then what are you going to do the next morning? Eat corn, uh, eat cold corn dogs? No, that's not that's not worthy. That's not worthy of mouth placement. No, hold um, on, hold on a second. I don't like. I've never done this before. The corn dog castle king has never had a cold corn dog until now. Why are you, your eyes are watering? You crying? Are you I'm being getting, moved emotionally? I'm getting emotional. Cause you like it. No, it's just not as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> okay, but uh, do you do you want to eat a hot one? I know what a hot one tastes like. It's reheated. It's like kind of mushy, real mushy. It's okay though. Fried things need to be enjoyed hot out of the fryer. I mean, mm. I just can't keep eating. I'm so full. Well, then um, why don't you grab that sushi? <laughs> Seriously, sushi, sushi. No, I just gotta just be the first to say that uh, this doesn't seem safe. Like, what? What is this? This is just leftover sushi. You yeah. Kind of dressed like the Joker if he had gotten help. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm on a path to recovery. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing this, man. <laughs> this is re. This is. Can you explain what left happened? O First of all, yeah. Well, so leftover so, sushi. This shouldn't be a thing. Based on real life experience for me. Okay, I let's hear about sushi that. For delivery, um, and then I, sushi rice, as you know, as a connoisseur, is supposed to be a little bit warm when you eat it, and you taste the fish more when it's not fully, fully cold. So I tried to put it in the microwave just for a couple seconds, just to kind of get the chill off of it. 
Mm. And then I, I had kind of ended up leaving it there for a bit, and it actually kind of partially cooked the spicy tuna. And I was hungry, and I just ate it. And now we're here. Well, do you want to eat this? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I mean, been there, done that. So I mean, uh -oh. look at look at that. Yeah, that's fully cooked. I mean, both of them look awful. Yeah, and this is just a leftover. Snack. That looks like how it, long is sushi acceptable to be left over? Why are you looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this looks like sushi that you had a sushi party. I like to put everything in the context of a party because I'm a party animal. And um, you, I, I, you and have a corn dog king. Yeah, the next night after nobody showed that up at the corn. sounds like a party of only women. <laughs> <laughs> right. So the first night you had a corn dog party, they all thought it was just going to be dudes, so they didn't come. And the next night it was like sushi party, and they're like, "That's definitely all chicks." And so nobody came. And so Stevie, you, you, <laughs> we give you credit for the joke, though, even though you reset it. And so then uh, you're just then you throw it in the trash. And then you're taking the trash out the next morning and it actually rips as you're taking it down the, the stairs because I had to take stairs out of my house to get to the trash can. Okay. And then this falls out and then falls on the concrete of your driveway and you don't see it because it's nighttime. You go back inside, you come out the next day and the possums haven't gotten to this. And the possum looks like this. Oh, don't you fall for that. You know how a possum Possum doesn't bite down. You right. Told me that. You shut your mouth, Mr. Possum. You shut that possum. Mouth. <laughs> you shut that possum mouth. Yeah. Go search. I'm not eating it. Go search drunk girl pets possum because Stevie showed <laughs> us that video. And uh, do you want to taste it? Changed my life. Do you want to taste it? Kinda. All right. Come on. All right. I just can't bring myself to. Yeah. You know. What part are you gonna taste? What? Well, I. Which one do you like better? I want to go with the roll. I'm a roll guy. Oh, I bet, it's just cooked fish. This might make you like sushi even more. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'd say try that. I think I think you're gonna find that you enjoy that more than you think. Microwaved ginger is interesting. Mm hmm To smell. <laughs> it's actually good. It's not, I mean, in the microwave killing bacteria, this right. is arguably the only safe way to eat leftover sushi. You're right. I just don't want it. Okay. Keep us close to your heart with our mythical necklaces. Available now at mythical.com.